whenever you're preparing iTunes to burn a CD or to import music or to even change music that you have in iTunes to an MP3, you have to understand the settings. When you go to iTunes, choose Preferences. And the preferences will come up, and you'll notice that there's a, a button here that says Import Settings. Now, although this is the import setting for iTunes, it what it basically does is it changes all of the audio processing settings in iTunes. So whether you're importing something or you want to convert a song that you already have in there to an MP3 or from uh, an MP3 to a wave or whatever it is, you can use this setting. So AIFF Encoder is the highest possible quality that you can get. It's the best quality that you can get in iTunes. I suggest that you choose this as your default setting and say OK and then OK again. That means anytime I import something into iTunes, I'm importing it at the highest possible quality. Um, so let's say I have a piece that's already there and I choose to create a MP3 version. Well, if I go to the advanced setting and say create, it's not letting me choose MP3. So I have to change the overall settings in iTunes to do that. So what I'm going to do is go back to preferences and then go back to import settings and choose mp3 encoder and say OK and then OK again. Now what this has done is completely changed all of the settings from AIFF to mp3. So whether I'm importing something at this point or I want to create an mp3 version of something that's already there, I have already changed the default settings. So this particular example of music, if I uh, get some uh, information on it, you'll see that it is an AIFF audio. So I can now convert that to create an MP3 version, and I wind up with a new version that is not an MP, uh, excuse me, that is not an AIFF, but this particular version is smaller MPEG audio. So that's how you change your import settings and also can change your settings so that you can create an MP3 in iTunes.